Okay, class, I just want to make a video to show you how to get to the assignment today. Um, there's only one thing assigned. It says view assets. So it's going to take you to a page in the textbook. Um, so go ahead and log into Discovery Education. Uh, find the assignment, view assets. Click on it. And it will take you to um, a page in the section called Understanding the Universe. This is what we're working on now. Uh, I kind of lectured over this yesterday. So you're going to scroll down to the very, very bottom. And under the, the section that says assess, you're going to see this exploration, understanding the universe. Um, you want to click on the one that has the green picture. There may be another one that has a different picture. That's not the one you want to click on. Uh, click on the one that has the green picture and open that up. It will open up in a new tab. And this is going to be your assignment for today. Um, there are 10 questions that you need to answer. So once this loads up, You scroll down, you will see the 10 questions. Uh, they talk about, explain the term Doppler shift, describe the use of Doppler shift in astronomy, uh, describe how Doppler shift observe, observations imply the continuous expansion of the universe. So this is basically about the stuff that we kind of covered yesterday. Um, you can use this exploration to kind of help you out. Uh, what they want you to do for this is... Click on a star. Star 1 is already selected. Uh, they give you the intrinsic frequency and the intrinsic wavelength. And then what do we need to do? It says instructions. Choose whether you want to analyze observed wavelength or the observed emission spectra. So we're going to do this. Uh, we're going to observe it. It gives us the observed wavelength. And basically the question is, is it receding or is it approaching? Is it getting further away from us or approaching us? And this one, you can see that the waves are shorter. Um, and so because it's shorter, it's actually going to be coming closer to us. This is what's called a blue shift. Um, so this one should be approaching us. That's correct. Uh, now identify the type of Doppler shift. If it's coming closer to us, it's blue shift. If it's headed away from us, it's red shift. So now we go to the reset. We go to a different star, star number two. Observe this. And you can see on this one, it's further apart. So the waves are short here and they're longer over here. Um, this one's going to be going away from us, receding. It's emit and that's going to be a red shift. So this just kind of shows you as an example of what the Doppler effect is. Um, the Doppler effect is if something is heading towards us, the waves that it gives off will be squeezed together like star one. If something's heading away from us, the waves will be stretched out like star number two, and that's called red shift. So we talked about this a little bit yesterday. Um, how does this imply continuous expansion of the universe? As we look out at all the galaxies around the solar system, most of them are showing a red shift, meaning that they are moving away from us. Um, and so that means that everything is kind of separating and getting further apart, which implies the expansion. Um, so I will go over some of these in class and make another video, but I just wanted to show you how to get to the assignment today. Uh, I will post this on Google Classroom with some instructions, and that should help you out. So uh, look for the, another, the other video that I'll make in class uh, in just a little bit. Thank you.